YouTube, what is going on, guys? Hey, listen, uh, I have some unique things that happen to me from time to time, and today is one of those days. Um, as most of you already know, that I do live in the state of Tennessee, and of course, there has been big news in our state, uh, more specifically Nashville. Uh, as of July 4th with the uh, tragic death of Steve, Steve McNair, former quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. And I remember at the very moment what I was doing at that time, um, we were actually about to have an early birthday celebration for one of my aunts. Uh, her birthday is actually July 6th, and we were going to go ahead and celebrate on, the, on that on July 4th since everybody was at one particular location. And just as we were about to celebrate, I get a phone call from my father-in-law telling me that Steve McNair has been killed and you know my initial reaction was complete shock you know I was like what you know how you get when you hear some news and, and that it just catches you off guard yeah so that was me and you know I was thinking okay he said he got shot in the head and I'm thinking that somebody must have tried to rob him you know carjack him or something like that that was my initial thought so I quickly ran upstairs uh, we was over my mother's house actually I ran upstairs uh, and turned on uh, our local channel 5 and sure enough across the screen there it said you know Steve McNair killed and at that time a lot of details were not confirmed and you know it was just one of those things where you had to you know just take in what information was available and then just you know just wait and see what was going to be confirmed at you know later on so you know there, there's there's pretty sure a lot of you have already been been seeing this on the news even in your own local town because it's, it's made news across the nation so today which is july 9th um was his uh funeral well, it, it will be his funeral but today was his memorials uh at his uh at a local church uh this evening and actually the name of that church is mount zion which uh my wife is a member of uh, I'm actually still a member at another church. This is prior to us getting married. We would have memberships at different churches. Uh, but we go to Mount Zion quite a bit, you know, every other Sunday. And we go there pretty much every, every week for Bible study. But to make a long story short, uh, his, Steve McNair's body was at the Lewis and Wright funeral home. And I know where that is because I grew up on that side of town. So this morning uh, before work, I went in, went to the funeral home. And, you know, there was a quite a bit few, quite a bit of people out there already waiting in line to go s to see him, uh, which I am not surprised by that. You know, that's, I'm, you know, uh, he's a celebrity, star athlete. Everybody in the community loved him. So I was expecting for it to be a lot of people, but it wasn't as many as I had it anticipated. So that was good. So I'm waiting in line and, you know, just having casual conversation with an uh, older lady in front of me, probably in her late 40s, early 50s. And... This, this lady taps me on my shoulder, um, another lady taps me on my shoulder, and she was like, excuse me, sir, do you mind, um, my name is, I think she said her name was Kristen, she said, my name is Kristen, and I work for the Associated Press, and I would like to interview you and ask you a few questions about Steve Manera, if you don't mind, and, you know, it took me a few moments, I had to think about it, you know, is, is this something that I really want to do, and I said, okay, sure, I'll do that. So she proceeded to ask me about maybe six to eight questions. I really wasn't keeping count. Anywhere from, you know, how do I feel about, you know, this whole event? Um, you know, why, why, what made me come down to the funeral home to, to see Steve McNair? You know, those types of things. The circumstances that have come out about the case. Does it change my opinion of him? You know, those types of things. So I answered those questions and the lady in front of me <laughs> kind of it was kind of funny because I mean she was like I said she was a much older lady and she was saying you know she was proud of me because you know I answered the question so so eloquent and I did a very good job and, and all that stuff. So you know went in to the funeral home and we signed the book and you know of course they're guest books. Uh, I signed the book and then I went into the actual uh, section where you where the casket was and the flowers and all that uh the casket was closed and it wasn't because of you know because of the head trauma because as we know he got shot in both temples um uh, which was which is horrible enough but uh from what i heard that they they did a very good job on him so he was he could be shown but because 
his family, they wanted everybody in his family, I think mainly his mother, to, to see the body. So they felt it would be in the best interest that give the family that respect for them to see him together before the public would, instead of the public seeing him before his own family gets to see him. You know what I'm saying? So that's fine, you know, not a big deal. I completely understand that. They didn't want any kind of photographs, video, or, um, you know, regular photography to be taken, and I respect that. And furthermore, I didn't bring anything to do that with because I, that's just, to me, that's, that's disrespectful to do something like that in a funeral home. So back to the story really quick because I'm running out of time. I'm kind of being long-winded, but I want to let you guys know, you know, how this whole experience was for me. So I get back to work. And I was talking to my wife. I called her up and I let her know what happened. I'm like, you know, it's just out of all the people out there, you know, this, this reporter comes over and asks me for an interview. And I'm like, you know, these strange things happen to me from time to time. It got me thinking, why couldn't the hell I win the damn lottery? But anyway, that's another story. So I get back to work and I log on to the Associated Press's website. So let's check this out, guys. This is a trip. All right. So... As you can see, let me get this lined up. As you can see, I'm on the Associated Press. All right. Now, keep in mind, before I even show you this story, it has changed throughout the day. Uh, this is not the, the original story. Most of the content is the same, but there are some things that have changed on it. So, if we look down, you know, the title, of course, it says, Fans Line Up to Honor Slain Ex-NFL Quarterback McNair. And, okay, there's a lady's name, Kristen Hall. So, you know, it goes, it starts off by saying, you know, a dozen of Steve McNair fans donned Tennessee Titans gear as they lined up around the funeral home Thursday to honor the slain NFL quarterback, the ex NFL quarterback <clears throat> accomplishments and charity work. But as we go down, <clears throat> just to kind of show what I want you to show, it, it describes, you know, the color of the casket and all that stuff. But here's where it, this, there's the part right here where she actually starts to talk about. The interview that uh, she and I had, <clears throat> which I think is actually pretty cool, because you know I, I had no intentions of going there, giving an interview, anything like that. But it basically says, uh, Derek Lewis. That's my name. Derek Lewis said McNair put the Titans on the map. I don't know if that was verbatim what I said. I think she kind of paraphrased a little bit, but that's okay. I uh, said Lewis wearing Titans jersey, which is what I just showed you earlier. Uh, said he and his family were devastated when they learned of the McNair's death. Uh, police have said McNair, 36, was shot four times July 4th by a girlfriend who then killed herself in a condo McNair shared with a friend. And then she quotes me here saying, um, <clears throat> let me see if I can get, I guess you guys can see that. It says, myself and my family were completely shocked and some of us were even crying. And that's true. Uh, a couple of my aunts, uh, they're really big sports fans and, and they were in, in tears. And it was, it was a really tough moment because we went from complete excitement about to sing happy birthday to my aunt to now it's, it's complete silence and, you know, people with their hands over their mouths and they just can't believe what they're hearing. It's almost like it's a bad dream or a bad movie. And, uh, you know, and like I said to her, she said, you know, some of them were crying, crying because we felt like, you know, you feel like you're related. A lot of these Titans in the community, I mean, for people that are not in the state of Tennessee or Nashville, I mean, you really, the, these Titans, they, I mean, they're so down to earth. And you really do feel like you're related to them because, I mean, it's, you know, that's Southern hospitality. I mean, that's just not a saying. That's for real. We live that down here. I mean, people really look out for one another. So... You know, you really feel like you've lost one of your own outside of a football player. And um, and she had asked me, with knowing those details, okay, it's re site is refreshing. She asked me, uh, you know, knowing those details of the uh, tragedy, does it change my opinion um, of McNair? And I, I told her, I said, I'll always remember him for the good things that he did for the community and the Tennessee Titans. And, you know, I told her that nobody's perfect. And, and that's true. And we have to be very careful when we start to judge other people or comment about, you know, what somebody's done. You know, you need to look at yourself and, and look, you know, you never nobody's made the best decision their entire life. We've all made mistakes and we've all learned from those mistakes. So I'm in no position to judge him. I'm not going to pass judgment on Steve. I mean, that's for God to do that for all of us. So but I just thought this was you know pretty cool experience to have to have me interview and this is on the Associated Press and this goes out to all the media websites I mean ESPN Yahoo um, 
Atlanta Journal Constitution, all this stuff. But originally the story said, this is a, like I said, this is an update. Originally the story said that I was a former teammate of Steve McNair's. And let me see if I can find that real quick. I know we're running out of time. But let me see if I can find that really quick for you guys. I thought it was just, I thought it was hilarious. Uh, let's see. Is it here on the Sun Times? Yeah, I think this is the site. Some stories did not update. Let's see. Where is it? Here it is, right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Right here. Look at this. Former teammate Derek Lewis. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. So, I need to know, Titans, where's my check? All right, guys. Take it easy.